Hi, I'm Jocelyn. Welcome to Fast Easy Vegan. So today I thought we'd make cornbread. Doesn't that sound fun? You'll find it on page 552 of my Fast Easy Vegan book. And we're going to go straight from the recipe. So you want to do your dry ingredients, mix those together first. Then we're going to mix our wet ingredients together and add those to the dry. Okay, that's the standard way to do it. And there's a reason because things like baking soda will go crazy with the moisture. And then anyway, we'll do it the right way. So let's start with, oh, I found this. The reason I'm we're doing this is because I found some blue corn masa. And I'm so excited. Blue corn is so delicious, more nutritious than regular, and really hard to find. So if you can't find this, get the regular um, masa. Uh, it's, it's finely ground. It's not like polenta. So corn flour. One and a half cups, okay? And then you're going to add to that a cup of all-purpose flour two teaspoons of uh, baking soda and a teaspoon of salt all right oh i missed a little here all right and let's mix those together sort of quickly let me give you a better view because it's just so fascinating watching me mix things all right, so that's our flowers and our dry stuff together. Now, to two cups of plant milk, you're going to add uh, um, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. And then we're going to put in a third of a cup about of unsweetened applesauce. Which doesn't really sweeten it, but um, I mean, corn is sweet, right? So we're going to mix that together. And what the, the vinegar does is thicken the milk immediately, as you may or may not be able to see. All right, so we're going to dump that in, our dry ingredients, stir it up, and as a touch that I really like, we're going to add a can, drained can of corn. And just mix everything really well. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be absolutely delicious. I put the oven at 400. It's preheated, it's all ready to roll. Eight by eight inch uh, pan for your batter. I sprayed it or, you know, whatever you use. Let's get this nice batter in there and get it in the oven as soon as we can. There sure is a lot of scraping and baking. Have you noticed that? Any kind of cooking. Scrape, scrape, scrape. I like to get every last bit I can. I think I learned that from my grandmother. She would never waste a thing. Of course, she went through the depression, so there we go. But she was also a farmer's wife. They had a uh, fruit orchard. They grew apricots and prunes. All right, there you go. Kind of spread out there. Now it's going to go in our 400 oven for about a half an hour or until a straw or a knife stuck in the center comes out clean. We'll pop it in and the next time we talk, it's going to be coming out of the oven. It's time. Let's get it out of the oven and cut it open. See what it looks like here. Oh, 
Okay, there it is. Let me get a plate, because I forgot. Okay, what do we have here? A very crusty looking, delightful cornbread. Mm, I can't wait to try it. Oh, it could go back for a couple minutes actually. So we'll take an edge piece, see how that works. It's got a nice texture to it, I can already tell. But you know, I should cut it all the way through, hello. Let go, come on, we're fighting. Okay, just doesn't want to let go. Okay, that looks nice. I'm gonna put this back into the oven, which is turned off, but, ooh, good. But still hot, so here we go. Kind of muddy looking, but anybody who knows about blue corn will be really excited about this. Go for it. It's really good. Love you guys. See you very soon.